Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Masher, you asked me to get to the point, so I'll get to the point. Iowans are being lied to. All right? The average individual citizen out there that wants to see Second Amendment rights advanced in this state, those are the people that are being lied to. They're being lied to by a man named Aaron Dorr. They're being lied to by his brother. His name's Chris Dorr. They go out and they tell folks that they are the only people down here fighting to advance Second Amendment rights. They're the only ones that's working against those crooked politicians who are making those backroom deals that are watering down your gun rights. They're the only ones that are a no-compromise gun rights organization. Where are they? Why aren't they registered on this bill? Why did they not even come to a subcommittee to give their opinion on what we were trying to advance? Where are they? Where have they been? It is, and again, this is for the benefit of the folks out there, it is typical that when a lobbyist is going to lobby on a bill that they register online for, against, or in just monitoring a bill. They're not even registered on this bill, and yet they've already gone out taking credit for it. You're being lied to. You want to know who's coming down here to fight for you? It's the people in this room, the legislators. We're not going to get 100 votes on that board today, but these people are representing their constituents to the best of their ability. You want to know who's fighting for your gun rights? The guy sitting in the gallery right there. Iowa Firearms Coalition, the National Rifle Association. If you're sending this guy money, I'm asking you to stop. His well's drying up here in Iowa. You want to know why? Because the truth is getting out there. For all the times he slandered me personally, or other members of this body over the past seven years that he's been in our state running his scam, I have asked, answered every phone call. I have tried to answer every email. I've tried to call you. So you had the facts, so you had the truth, and can make a decision for yourself. You know what? They're not even registered as a lobbying organization. You'd think from the emails, from the videos they put out there, that they're down here every day fighting. Ask anybody in this chamber or the chamber across the hall how many times they've been talked to by Aaron Dorr this year. Now, I asked my colleagues in this room, and I'm going to ask them here in public. You're not going to be able to see it on video, but I'll tell you. You can call them and find out the answer later. Can anybody in this room that is a legislator raise your hand here today and say, Aaron Dorr personally talked to me about this bill, House File 517, which he is taking credit for? Anybody, not a hand. Folks, you've been lied to. Please don't be lied to anymore. It is time for his scam to end. It is time that Iowans understand the truth. Make the decision for yourself. I don't care if you become members of other organizations, where you're at on the issue. You need and you deserve the truth. Aaron Dorr is a scam artist, a liar, and he is doing Iowans no services and no favors. I feel better now. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Iowans deserve their freedoms back. They deserve their liberties back. And while this is not everything that me personally would like to see advanced here today, it is the most monumental piece of Second Amendment legislation this state has ever seen. And with this vote on the Senate Amendment to concur, we can send this down to the governor's desk and advance Iowans' freedoms. So I ask the body to vote yes on Amendment 1297. And once they vote yes, Mr. Speaker, and if this amendment is adopted, I move the bill be read for the last time and placed on its passage for freedom's sake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the House. The, the gentleman from Harrison moves that the House concur with the Senate amendment. All those in favor shall say aye. Aye. Those opposed shall say no. The ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it, and the House has concurred with the Senate amendment. The gentleman from Harrison moves that the bill be read for the last time and placed on its passage. Are there objections? Chair hears none, the clerk will read. House File 517, a bill for an act relating to offensive and dangerous weapons and the justifiable use of reasonable and deadly force, including carrying, possessing, transferring, and acquiring weapons, the purchase of and regulation of such weapons, providing penalties and including effective data and applicability provisions, being enacted by the General Assembly of the State of Iowa. The question now is, shall the bill pass? Those in, fa in, pa uh, those in favor of its passage vote aye. Those opposed vote no. The clerk will receive your vote.
Baltimore votes aye. Orth votes aye. Miller of Webster votes no. Pritchard votes no. Have you all voted? Kirk, the clerk will close the machine and record a vote. The House give attention to the result of the vote. Those voting aye, 57, no, 35. Abster not voting, 8. The bill having received a constitutional majority is declared to have passed the House. Are there objections to the title? The chair hears none.